So today we're going to talk about going from particles to particles and going from liters to liters. And both of these are three steps. So our goal is I can convert between particles and convert between liters using stoichiometry. So the notes for this, you have to know that one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. You'll use 6.22 times 10 to the 23rd to go from particle to mole, and then use the coefficient to go from mole to mole. Then you'll use 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd to go from particle to mole again. The example we're going to go through is... If I have 100 particles of H2O, how many particles of O2 would I have? So here, the first box is always what they give us. So in this case, it is 100 particles. I'm just going to put part. We know what that's talking about. So 100 part of H2O. If this is particles of H2O, this one diagonal from it's going to be particles of H2O. If this is particles of H2O, this one's going to be moles of H2O because it is particles is just like grams. If one's particles, the other has to be moles. Now instead of having to find molar mass or anything like that, you just use these numbers right here. So every time you have the mole and particle, the number 1 goes with a mole, and 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd goes with the particle. Make that just a tad bit smaller. There we go. All right, so here is mole of H2O. So since this is diagonal, it's going to be the same mole of H2O. And like I said, with the grams to grams, this section right here, when you have three steps, is always mole over mole because that's where you switch what you're talking about. So we are needing to switch. We have 100 particles of H2O. We need to figure out O2. So that's what's going to go up top. When you have mole over mole, you look at the coefficient. So here's H2O that has a 2, so that's going to have a 2. O2 doesn't have anything, so that's just a 1. And then here we have 1 mole of O2, so this is going to be mole of O2. And we figure out what we're looking for, which is particles of O2. Now, when you have moles and particles, you use this again. The number 1 goes with the mole. And then the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd goes with the particle. Now, we have to do the math. But I'm just going to show you all a little trick. Since this is 6.022 at the top and this is 6.022 at the bottom, they actually mark each other out. Kind of like when you have like 2 divided by 2 is 1 or 5 divided by 5 is 1. So if you have the number on top and the number on bottom, you can actually mark it out and that'll help make your math easier. So now let's, since we've marked those out, let's go ahead and do the math together. So 100 times 1 is 100 times 1 is 100. So we know our top row is 100. And now we got to multiply the bottom. 2 times 1 is 2. So we will do 100 divided by 2, which is 50. And then our unit will be whatever we were looking for, which is the particles of O2. For liters. Okay, all I want you to write for liters is this first bullet point 
because we're still in the same thing of notes. So this first bullet point, you have to know that one mole is 22.4 liters. And then next to that, I want you to put, follow the same steps as particle to particle, except you use the number above or 22, we'll go ahead and just say, use the number 22.4. So just write that. You don't have to rewrite those notes, but I'm gonna read it out to you. You use 22.4 liters to go from liters to moles, and then you use the coefficient to go from mole to mole. Then you use 22.4 liters to go from liters to mole again. So if I have five liters of H2O, how many liters of O2 would I have? And then there's our reaction. All right, so this first text box is always going to be what they give us. In this case, they give us 5 liters of H2O. If this is liters of H2O, this unit's going to be liters of H2O, which means the one on top is going to be moles of H2O. Since we have liters and moles, we are going to use this number right here. So the number one is with the mole. So with the mole, we'll put a number one. With the liter, we put 22.4. All right, so here we have mole of H2O. So this is going to be mole of H2O. And this middle section, hopefully by now for three steps, you know this middle section is always mole over mole. We got to figure out what compound we're talking about. So we look at our problem. We have five liters of H2O. We need to figure out the liters of O2. So that's the compound we are going for, O2. When you have mole over mole, you look at your reaction. So mole of H2O, we look at H2O. There's a two in the front, so that means we put a two in front of there. Mole of O2, we look at O2. There's nothing there, so that'll just be a one. Since this is mole of O2, the diagonal is going to be mole of O2. And then we are looking for liters of O2. How many liters of O2 will I have? So again, we'll use this. So one goes with the mole. 22.4 goes with the liters. Now, just like earlier, a little trick. This 22.4 is at the bottom. This 22.4 is at the top, so they get to cross out. So now let's do the math. Five times one is five, times one is five. So five, and then let's multiply the bottom. Two times one is two. So we'll do five divided by two, which is 2.5. And that'll be liters of O2. So here in your digital notebook, you have two problems with the leaders and one problem with the particles. Use the practice that we just did to answer these questions and I'll be happy to help you if you need it.